Hi, this is Makar and today I'll be talking about uh, the war updates in Ukraine for December 12th. Uh, before I start showing you the map, um, I'll show you some data. So as of today, there are 94,760 Russian personnel being killed in Ukraine since February 24th. That's plus 620. Out of this 620, um, 200 were liquidated in Melitopol. Um, also, during the day, 24 Russian tanks were destroyed in Ukraine, uh, totaling 2,966. And also plus eight uh, APVs, uh, totaling uh, 5,928. There are other uh, changes here, um, as you can see, that you can look yourself at Ministry of Defense, Defense of Ukraine um, Instagram. So, uh, more about the news. In Belarus, um, in Belarus, a sudden check of the combat readiness of the army began. Um, then back to Russia. Explosions were reported in Klinsi and Klimovo uh, of Bryansk region in Russia, right here and here. And damage at military base at Klinsi as a result of the strike overnight. There is a video of the result um, of the shelling uh, by Ukrainian side. Um, that's the video. Uh, let's see. Let's play it. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. That's a crater. That's EPV. The other way around. That's a military base. That's barracks. And the previous building uh, was uh, um, some cafeteria. Okay, so back to the map. Oh, also, there was a video from Russia. Um, that's quite funny. Um, that's how Russian um, equipment is being transported uh, by the train. So as you can see on the preview, um, the APV is being misplaced um, from the train and they try to fix it somehow. They try to get uh, this APV out of the train, but let's see what happens. That's quite funny. Look. Yep. Um, okay. APV is gone. No more APV. Okay. Um, so back to the map. Back to the map. Um, in Sumy and Chernigiv region. Here and here. Um, Russian army shelled Saradena Buda and Druzhba of Sumer region, right here. They also shelled uh, Mohritsa of Sumer region, over here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, in Kharkiv region. Russian army shelled Strilecha, Zelene, uh, Staritsa, Ogyrceva, Barvarivka, Chernikiv, Chugunivka, Dvorichna, Hatyshe, Volochivka, uh, Okhrimivka, Kamenka, Ritkodub, Zapadne, and Kupyanisk of Kharkiv region. That's all this town right here. Um, at Kupyanisk area, Russian army shelled Kislivka, Kotlerivka, Tabayevka, Krohmalne, uh, and Berestove over here. Um, the reserve frontline development um so where is the map kupiansk 
I'm not sure why it's not being loaded super quickly. But as you can see, let's see, let's go back to December 11th. December 11th. Comparing to December 12th, as you can see, this area has been liberated. Uh, not much, but still. Um, some Ukrainian Telegram channels published a video today that uh, was geolocated as Tabayevka, right here. Um, however, the leaves on the trees are still yellow, which means that the video was made uh, some time ago, some, sometime in October or November, but released um, just today. So um, that's now re liberated. Moving to the Lugansk region. Let's see, let's zoom in. Okay, Russian army shelled um, Novoselivsky, Stelmachivka and Novoyehorivka at Slatova area. Uh, Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Novoselivsky and Stelmachivka, right here and here. In Kremina area, which is over here. Um, Russian army shelled Novoyehorivka, Makievka, Ploshanka, Nevsky, Pishane, Dibrova, and, and Chernopopivka of Luhansk region, and also Terny and um, Yampolivka of Donetsk region, right here and here. Bilogorivka area. Um, Bilogorivka area of Donetsk region. Russian army shelled Verkhnyokamienska and Spirne, right here and here. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Belogorivka, uh, Verkhnyokaminska and Serebryanska forest of Donetsk region over here. That's a forest tea. There is no, um, no towns right here. Um, but as you can see, the fighting continues right here. Also, there is a video of um, how the weather is so bad right now in Ukraine and how the you know, Ukrainian APVs are driving around. Um, let's see. Um, let's try to watch this video. And let's load it. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see. Sorry about that. Come on, that's, that's insane. I'm not sure why it's, you know, so, so slow. Anyway, hopefully we can get back to that video. Solidar, um, Russian army shelled Berestove, Bilohorivka, Vesele, Yakovlevka, Solidar, Bakhmutska of Donetsk region in this area. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Belohorivka, Solodar, and Bakhmutska, right here and in this area. Bakhmut. Russian army shelled Bakhmut of Donetsk region, uh, and Ukraine, Ukrainian military repelled uh, Russian attacks near Pidhorne and Bakhmut. And these dots right here. Let's see if the video is being loaded. Um, nope. Okay. Moving on, um, Russian, okay, I mentioned Bakhmut already. Let's see if there is a photo of that. Um, there is no, okay. Um, there was a frontline development at uh, Bakhmut area. Uh, let me show you on this map. Moving, scrolling to Bakhmut and zooming in. Come on. Okay. So that's December 11th, how it was on, as of yesterday. And today it's 
okay it's not much but there is a small piece that um it's basically like hundreds of feet um not much but still still a fact um that russians are advancing on this direction uh moving to kurdumivka area right here russian attack a uh, russian army shelled kurdumivka and bilahora over here and over here and ukrainian military repelled russian attacks near andreevka right here Torrent area russian army shelled uh, zalizna uh, and new york um right here and right here of the next region ukrainian military repelled russian attacks near new york over here um, Avdiivka area, right here. A Russian army shelled Avdiivka, Basela, and Opetne, uh, and there is um, at Mar Marginka area, right here. Russian army shelled Nevelske, Krasnogorivka, Marinka, Kurakova, and Georgivka, all of these towns. And Ukrainian military repel repelled Russian attacks near Marinka and uh, uh, Krasnogorivka, right here and here. Uh, also, Russian army shelled uh, Novomikolaevka of Donetsk region. Um, moving to Vuhlodar area. Russian army shelled Vuhlodar is over here. Russian army shelled Vuhlodar, Novokraimka, Prachistivka, Velika Novosilka, all of these towns. Vremyevka, Neskuchne, Novosilka, Zelenopola, and Novo no Novopil, or Novopil uh, of Donetsk region. And uh, uh, Novodarevka of the Prussia region, right here, and that's the border between two regions. U um, Ukrainian attacks, uh, Ukrainian army um, repelled Russian attacks near uh, Veliko Novosilka, right here. Moving to the Zaporizhia region. Um, the Parisia region. Zoom out. Russian army shelled um, Zelenopola, Novopil, uh, Malenivka, Gulepola, Dorozhnyanka, Golepilske, Cherivne, uh, Zaliznicha, uh, Novo uh, Andreevka, Orikhiv, Malatokmachka, and Malishirbake of the Prussia region. All of these towns were shelled by Russian army um, tonight. Okay, Melitopol, right here. So yesterday there was an explosion. Um, there was a missile strike by Ukrainian army at the hotel where um, uh, Russian invaders were living or something lived. Um, so 200 of them were destroyed, killed, and hundreds uh, injured. So um, as you can see, quite resultive um, strike. Also today, uh, a bridge uh, at M14 highway between Melitopol and Konstantinovka village was blown up. Um, that's, um, that's okay. Um, nothing on in Dnipropetrovsk region, moving to Kherson region. So Kherson region is right here. Um, Russian um, army shell Chernobyevka, Chernobyevka airport. Antonievka, uh, Chervony Mayak, right here, uh, Lvov, and uh, Hirsot City as well. That's a result of um, damage in Chernobyevka as a result of shelling, as you can see. Um, let's see if we can still sh uh, see the video, or if not, then we can see some photos from Chernobyevka as well. Um, that will show you the result of shelling. So let's see if it's going to load or not. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's the result. You saw this photo. Um, right here, some debris. Um, and that was somebody's house. As you can see, you know, there is no house anymore right here. Um, also in Kherson, um, there was a proof of the shelling. Um, Kherson, right here. There are five photos um, from.
from some local Kherson um, Telegram channels. That's one of the photo, the second one, um, another one. And yeah, that's a part of the missile or shelling, um, some shells um, launched by Russians. And at the end of the video, I would like to show you um, some sort of uh, a Christmas mood of Ukrainian soldiers. Hopefully it's gonna load. Um, so as you can see here, there are like Christmas tree pieces on the APVs and tanks. So let's see. I will turn off the music so I don't get banned by YouTube. Hopefully it's gonna load. Okay, come on. Yeah, that's good. That's the Christmas mood. You see? Okay. Okay, so um, if you like this video, please share it on social medias and, you know, put a like on this video. I'll be posting more. Um, so um, also subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate it. Thank you very much.